So we have that sense of the directions that you really want. And um, we can think about these, the word that we might use would be your values, these values of family, of friendships, of health and looking after yourself. Even when you have a health problem, health is still important. Yeah. And and we can kind of think about these as almost like sort of directions in life or like compass directions. So let, let's say, for example, that I say that uh, uh, I'm a West kind of person. The person that I want to be about West, traveling West is what is ma it matters to me most. And I could leave here and from Edinburgh in the direction West we might encounter Livingston, Glasgow, Belfast, Newfoundland. If I, when I get to Newfoundland in, the United, in Canada, have I arrived at West yet? No. Okay, so I could keep going and I could be in Alaska and then Russia and then all the way back round to Denmark. Have I got to West yet? No, you can always go. There's always more to be done. Yeah. Okay. So, in some senses, West is like something I never arrive at, and yet it's something I always know that I can track. Am I going in the right direction? Am I? If West is what's important to me, am I in my right direction? Hmm. Let's contrast that with a more kind of destination-focused approach. So, imagine I say to you, right? My goal in life is to get to Glasgow, mm. and I leave here, and I get as far as, let's say, Livingston. Mm. How will I feel? Probably a bit frustrated, because I didn't reach your goal. I didn't reach my goal, exactly. And notice that as I do that, every step of the way, I'm going, I haven't made it to Glasgow yet. I've not yet made it to Glasgow. Mm. You with me? Yeah. Let's imagine the alternative that actually I leave here and I, my goal is to get to Glasgow and I get to Glasgow. How will I feel? Yay, I made it. Yeah, pretty happy. And then what? You know, I've achieved my life goal. What's next? Get another goal. Yeah, I'd have to find another goal. Yeah. There, there, there can be that period of kind of... Uh, what, what was this about? What's my next goal? And also notice that as I'm approaching that goal of getting to Glasgow, every step of the way is I'm not there yet. I'm still not there yet. Are you with me? Okay, yeah. Let's contrast that kind of more destination-focused approach with this kind of more values-based, direction-focused approach, which is kind of like West. From the moment that I choose West, I'm going... I'm on my path. I'm going west. Oh, there's Livingston. I'm still going west. All right. Okay. I'm still going west. Oh, there's Glasgow. I'm still going west. You see what I'm yeah. saying there? That, that, that from the moment you choose it, you can always know, am I on my path or am I not on my path? Mm -hmm. And that the, the two things, they're not in opposition. They work hand in hand. It's really useful for us to have goals because it takes our direction of what's important in life and makes it something more concrete and more specific that you can work towards. And yet we hold the actual individual goals a little bit more lightly mm. and, and see them only as being kind of markers along a direction. So let me ask you this. In the exercise that we just did, you were in touch with several directions. You had a direction that was about family. Mm -hmm. A direction that was about a loving relationship with a woman. Mm. You had a direction that was about friendship. And you had a direction that was about your own training, health and fitness. I would like you to choose one of these directions and to think, what would be one or two steps that if I saw you doing those steps between now and next time, I would know, or you would know, that's you on that direction. I don't know, I guess in terms 
in terms of my running, I could mm -hmm. go back. Yeah. Go back to running. Yeah. Okay. So what would be a kind of specific goal? Just one step. I'm just scared of getting back into that, you know, I need to achieve this. Yeah, okay. So frame frame of mind. So really well caught. That's like almost like that hook was there and you kinda of caught yeah. it and you said, Oh, Let's not let's not let yeah. let's not let that be the thing that guides us. Yeah. 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 So, I mean that's likely gonna come up for you. Mm -hmm. How how would you know like like if that comes up for you, this kind of sort of very kind of targeted, achievement focused, um, if that comes up for you, when it comes up for you, how can you respond to that? What would be different? What would be a different way of, of approaching this? I guess just paying a bit more attention to what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Probably not set, try not set any distances or times. Mm -hmm. And just do it very free form. Okay, yeah. There's a really important balance to be had in something like this because Targets and times can be useful for you if they're held lightly, uh, and yet with your own sense of your own history, that might hook you into something yeah. that's just a different, less helpful way of approaching it. Yeah. And yet what I would want to do would be to, uh, one of the things that you found problematic before was that you would kind of do running on a good day, and yet on a day when IBS was more troublesome to you, you'd kind of not do it. Yeah. So what I, and that might be because on those IBS days you're thinking I have to go out running for an hour otherwise it's no good mm. you know? yeah what would it be like for example to say something like I'm gonna run such and such a number of times per week whether or not I have IBS symptoms or not I'm gonna go out for not a particular specific time but I'm just gonna go out like what would work well for you in terms see that like I don't know what's gonna work well mm. for you what I'm trying to help you do is to kind of find a strategy for approaching this that will work for you. Like we know that the things that will yeah. work well yeah. would be yeah. planning, yeah. targets and achievement focus. And we know that what won't work what won't work well is saying, well I'll only go on days when I feel better. Well because the thing is that when I'm not feeling well, it's either pain because of the constipation. Yeah. Or just having really, really bad bouts of diarrhea. Yeah. And I guess what I could do is because it would, especially the pain, it makes it physically very difficult to mm -hmm. to run. But I guess I could go out of the house and walk yeah. on those days. Yeah. And if it's diarrhea, I guess I could I guess I could in a way, you know, go out as well but make sure that I'm going out to places where I can stop and go to the loo mm -hmm. rather than going out into the middle of the fields and having, you know, go behind the bushes, well, you, as it's happened before, so. Yeah, I mean, you you are probably the best person to kind of figure out what will work well. What, what I'm kind of sensing there is a sense of sort of approaching this with a different sort of mindset about, okay, trying to maintain exercise, trying to maintain mm -hmm. running, uh, that's, my, that's my target, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. It may well be that what you need to do is to sort of experiment with different ways of trying things out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I guess if if I keep it if I keep it about making sure that I do go out on those mm -hmm. days, then 
yeah, then I will be moving in, yeah. in the right direction. In the right direction, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. much so. So that's a really good example of something you can even do now that would be something you can do uh, in one direction in your life. I want to just kind of, there's a piece that I've kind of sensed here that we've kind of touched on a little bit and we touched on it in this exercise, which was about what we might call a, a bigger piece or a kind of bolder move. And that is, you called it getting back in the game, meaning kind of dating or finding a relationship. I know that's been something that's hard for you. Mm. I, if we were to kind of do the same exercise that we just did just now of planning some steps in that direction, what would be some steps? Like, and even then, notice that. What did your mind just give you to? Not ready for that yet. Not ready for that. Okay. Well, there isn't a speedometer here. You get to choose. That's the most important thing. You get to choose how fast you go here. And yet, I'd like to kind of make some space whereby it's all right for us to kind of look at that and to consider what, what would that look like. We can, we can even take any specific behaviors off the table in terms of like, you don't have to do any of this. We can just have a conversation about what would you do if you chose to go down that path. Like what would be one, and you can tell me if you want to back off from this. But I'd, I'd like to see whether you'd be willing to kind of notice your mind saying, I'm not ready for that. And so I don't have to go out and do this. Even having yes. a conversation about it is part of a step in the direction. Okay. Do you see what I'm getting at? And you get to choose. It really is up to you. You can mm -hmm. say, back off, I don't want to talk about this. So what would I do to... Yeah, what would be... To start Some, dating something again. that would show you that you were moving in that direction. I guess there's something that I could do that's not too scary. Uh -huh. I could go out and buy myself some new clothes. Great. It's a really good example. A step in that direction. Make myself a bit more presentable. Okay. So let's see if maybe between now and next time you could kind of you know spend a bit of time between now and our next session working on these steps. And if you happen to come up with other steps, again, like I said, there's no speedometer here. You get to choose how fast you go, mm -hmm. and yet. I think when you, what you may find is that once you get a little momentum, you might find yourself making another step. And you, you can decide what, what those steps are in mm -hmm. those directions that you've been in touch with today. Okay. Okay. Yeah.